I'm Michaela and I'm a London street style fashion photographer. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can transform your room into a DIY studio. I'm going to show you, well this is why I'm in the background right now because I've got a bit of car behind me and I'm going to show you how you can get cool shots for just minimal work really. Um, I do advise using some props because if I'm quite awkward taking photos of myself so doing self portraits I always like to have a prop and my first prop is going to be flowers and I'm going to try and do a whole spring vibe. If you do like this video please make sure you give it a like, comment and subscribe because I'll really appreciate it and I'd love to create more um, videos for you during quarantine. So this is the space in my room that I want to set up my DIY studio. I'm going to attempt to use my closure rail as a backdrop. When setting up my DIY studio, I realised my rails are not detachable, so the paper would not slide onto the top like I thought it would. However, that was not going to stop me from creating a set, so I simply stuck the paper onto the rail with sellotape, and also sellotape in the floor. Just set the background up, I'm going to go and get a chair, I'm also going to change outfits and do my makeup. And there it is, a mini studio just to do some self portraits. So this is my lighting setup. I've got the natural light coming from behind. I've got the wand on the left, and I've also got a, a standard light that I got from Amazon. So I'm gonna hopefully these two will work together to create some cool self-portraits. When shooting my self-portraits, I wanted the frame to be wider as the shots were quite close together. So I left my rail idea and stuck the paper onto the wall using sellotape. I wanted to be a bit more conceptual of the next shots, so I put the blue paper onto the railings and decided to rip the areas where I wanted myself to be out of. Please be careful when cutting the paper, I wouldn't advise doing it this way, but I was being lazy. I see noticed that I was looking more like Jack Nicholson <laughs> from The Shining, but wait till you see the end results. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Here's me trying to look cute when half my body is sticking out of the card. So I've changed outfits and I've also changed the backdrop, it's now pink. I'm now going to use this light to create some cool shots with. It's also an experiment, I've never done it before so I don't know how they'll turn out. But for self isolation shots I think it's better than nothing. So carry on checking out the video to see what we get up to. Right guys, thanks for watching my YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you also felt inspired to create your own content indoors or do a DIY studio like me, even if it is just sticking paper onto a wall using sellotape. But do bear in mind that if you do have wallpaper or wall paint, that the sellotape can rip off the paint. So just bear that part in mind. Now if you did like this video, please give it a like, comment and subscribe because I really mean a lot to me, especially creating content indoors now. I love to entertain you more. So yeah, bye. Hi guys, I'm Michaela and I'm a London Street Star Pla- uh. Hi guys, I'm Michaela and I'm a- Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a London Street Star Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Michaela and I'm a London Street Star Pla- I'm gonna show you how you can create- <laughs> the 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 wall behind you. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get rid of this one. This week's video, I'm going to show you how can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the TikTok dog. I will do bloopers at the end cuz you know. <laughs>